Hi guys, this is lesson number 36 from our Coral Draw Training Course Series. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to disperse an image with splatter paint effect. As you can see that in my page, I have a few elements. I have a background, there is a picture, there is an image, and here we have a splatter effect. So let me explain you how it's done. If I will click on image here, you can see that image is having rectangular box and splatter paint effect and same splatter paint it is trimmed with the image let me move it outside so you will understand better if i will bring it here you can see that there is a rectangular box around but there is no outline so you cannot see if i will right click on the black you will see the image and splatter paint it is clipped inside this rectangular box and once it is selected as you can see that here we have power clip feature it's appeared here because the image and splatter paint is clipped inside so if i will bring it out these two elements i need to click here extract content if i will bring it out this rectangular shape you will see here the effect on the picture so if i will click it you can see that it is a group if i will ungroup here we have a effect okay that is trimmed along the edges of the picture and inside this effect the same image is clipped also this splatter paint effect we trimmed with the image you can see that the image has been trimmed so basically there is a four element we have a rectangular box we have an image we have splatter paint effect and also the background so let's see how it's done i'm going to undo let's move it to the side zoom tool fit to page so the first thing we are going to import picture and splatter paint so go to file import and you can see that here i have this uh, image and this is my splatter paint press control key and click on splatter paint so both of them are selected if you want to select multiple file and import inside Corel Draw, select one file, press Ctrl key and click the other. Now both of them are selected, import. Click on import. Simply just click and drag to place inside document. This is splatter paint and this is the image. So the first thing, we are going to remove the background from this image. There is a several way to remove the background. I am going to use B Sublime. You can use also freehand tool, Bezier tool, or pen tool. I will just make it quick by using B Sublime. So click on B Sublime, and from here I can start. I am just clicking and Corel Draw care the curve. Now look at this here. In this area, we need a sharp corner. So I will click, and once again, I will click in the same place. So you can see that it is a corner. Now again, I will just follow. I will click again in the same place. And uh, here we are going to close. Okay, so you can see that from this side, it is round. So we'll go to the shape tool and we can add more point here. Let's add one point here. Click it and click on add control point so you can see that this is how it is select three of them and little bit make alignment just bring it down to make it straight so basically we have a shape here in the front of image pick tool select the image and clip inside this shape object power clip and click on place inside frame and simply click inside this shape now the image is clipped inside and we have a black outline around to remove this black outline we can right click here before we start we will duplicate the image while it is selected you can press plus key from the keyboard and we have another copy this is what letter we will use and here we have our splatter paint this is a jpeg file if i will bring it here you can see that in this area it is with white background jpeg image 
so directly we cannot use this we need to get the vector object from this to do that we are going to reduce the size because once you will trace bitmap it will be lighter file to handle for coral draw so just reduce the size later we can scale it once it will be vector now go to trace bitmap and you can see that here we have a option quick trace center line trace and outline we are not going to use quick trace because we will lose the detail we have small small dot around so that will not be traced perfectly so what we need to do we need to go to the outline trace and line art so here you can see that this is before and this is after almost the same detail we got here it is fine we can click ok now in front of that jpeg splatter paint effect we have another copy that is a vector image you can see that we can delete this jpeg image and this is what we are going to use with our picture so select it we can rotate it this way just place it here and uh, i am going to scale it little bit okay so you can see that our splatter paint vector element it is on the back of the image we need to trim the image with the splatter paint if we want to trim the image we need to select the splatter paint first you can see that splatter paint is selected i will press shift key and click on the image simply click on trim and now you can see here if i will click outside and move the image image is affected and it is trimmed with the splitter paint undo after that this is the copy of the same image i am going to connect it in the same place hold it from the corner and just keep it in front of the image here this time we are going to trim splatter paint effect with the image so it is opposite if we want to trim the splatter paint we need to select the image first so the image is selected press shift key and click on splatter paint and once again click on trim this time splatter paint is trimmed with this image i will move it and show you here you can see that now at the back of the image there is no splatter paint as you can see the edge from the image the splatter paint is trimmed it's almost done we will clip this image inside this splatter paint since it is a vector object bring it here and uh, just a little bit stretch it it is selected go to object power clip place inside frame and simply click on the splatter paint now you can see that this is how we got the beautiful effect it gives sense that the part of the image it's moved out and dispersed away so this is how easy it is we got already and now we are going to clip splatter paint and uh, image inside rectangular box because you can see that here we have outside some stuff from the splatter paint so it will disappear once we will clip it so to do that we are going to select both of them the image and the effect and to group it first you can click here group now we are going to create one rectangular shape you can see that here we have a rectangle tool simply just draw a rectangle you can see that here we have if i want to select the image now since the rectangle is front we can press alt key but click on the pick tool first press alt key and click on the image now image and uh, splatter paint is selected since it is a group go to object power clip place inside frame and place inside this rectangular box so you can see that the stuff from the splatter paint outside it's disappeared so now we have outline around it is easy we can right click here to remove outline and our image is ready this is our background you can click and bring it here select the image scale it the way you want and this is how we get this beautiful effect the background you can see that it's really dark it was light background i use image adjustment lab to make it dark in coral draw 2020 you can find that stuff in the effect if i will click on the background go to effect and here we have adjust point to adjust and you can see that image adjustment lab once you will click 
Now Amid Adjustment Lab dialog box is open. Here you can reduce or increase the brightness and then click OK. Since I have done already, so I will just cancel it. So this is how we have a beautiful effect on the image. There is several way to disperse the image. You can disperse image by using default coral draw shapes. You can create custom shape and also you can use to disperse the image. Also we have here tool that is called graph paper tool. We can use graph paper tool also to disperse the image. In our coming lesson we will be learning how to do that things. If you want to get this splatter paint effect you can go to the google you can type splatter paint black and you will get a lot of sample there. Save it as a jpeg and import inside coral draw then follow the instruction from this video you will get it. I hope you enjoy this lesson and try to practice. Guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once I will upload new video. Thank you.